the subcommittee, subcommittee meets this morning to receive testimony from outside experts and industry leaders on developments in artificial intelligence and machine learning in the private sector that may have benefits for the Department of Defense. Our witnesses today are Dr. Jason Matheny. Dr. Matheny is President and Chief Executive Officer of RAND Corporation and Commissioner of the National Security Commission on Artificial Intelligence. We have Mr. Uh, is it Shyam Sankar? Sean. Sean? Okay, thank you, sir. Chief Technology Officer of Palant Palantir. Uh, I know I know your CEO very well. <laughs> and Mr. Josh Las Penoso. I get that right? Good. Chief Executive Officer of Shift Five. We welcome our witnesses to the committee and thank them for their willingness to share their insights with us. This subcommittee has been keenly interested in the Department of Defense's approach to adopting and integrating artificial intelligence, or AI, into the Department of Defense processes. We recognize the opportunity that AI represents to radically influence how DOD fights, it defends, and operates, which was the chief reason we supported the establishment of the National Security Commission on Artificial Intelligence in the 2019 NDAA. The results from the Commission, as well as the seeming overnight success of generative AI systems like ChatGPT and DAL-E, and reinforce our instincts that AI will be game changers for DOD, the United States, and our industry partners. However, to stay, uh, to stay ahead of our potential adversaries, we also have to be working at a speed and scale that keeps us ahead of any progress that they are currently making. To do that, we need to identify key technologies and integrate them into our systems and processes faster than they can. That meaning means harnessing innovation in the commercial marketplace to gain speed, but to also reduce barriers for those tools to be implemented within DOD for the benefit of our warfighters. Some of the challenges we're facing are technical. While user friendliness and reliability are key attributes needed for commercial and defense markets for the department, the AI applications deployed must be more secure and trusted, uh, meaning we understand the logic behind its algorithms so it cannot be used to in unintended ways and have more rigorous policy enforcement mechanisms to prevent misuse or unintended use. Because we have heard much in the press on debates over potential biases and algorithms, I think it would be helpful if the witnesses can share their thoughts on what is happening on the commercial side to identify and remedy uh, uh, the bias in, uh, in their algorithm development. How do you all <clears throat> bake this consideration into your software development processes is a question we'd like to have answered. Also, with the discussions on the ethical implications of AI, we'd appreciate your thoughts on how you think about this from your corporate perspective, but also how do you think the Pentagon and the U.S. government should be approaching these debates? Lastly, I'd like to, like, uh, like to ask our witnesses to touch on what I believe is DOD's most crucial resource in AI development, data. We collect vast quantities of data, which is the knowledge base for any artificial intelligence, but to regularly run into issues of ownership and management of that data. I believe it's clear to the subcommittee that data should be ag ag agnostic if it is collected through DOD mission, the Pentagon owns it, and should be able to use it across the entirety of our systems. I'd also like to point to some of the progresses that is being made, especially within the department. I mentioned earlier the National Security Commission on Artificial Intelligence. They did a fantastic job of providing a framework for us to think about these issues and made some great recommendations, many of which we have enacted in previous NDAAs. But there are still others that haven't been implemented that we should be considering. Finally, I'd like to commend the Department for their progress in establishing the Chief Data and Artificial Intelligence Officer, or CADO. In, short, in a very short time, they have established themselves and made positive progresses in both sides of the job, improving the department's data and pushing adoption of AI tools. But there, too, we still have progress. We can make do better, position DOD to build, deal with the future security challenges that we know they're going to face. With that, I turn to my friend, Senator Rounds, for any remarks he may have. 